today we have a ECU. It's coming from a Peugeot 307, I believe. It's a Siemens. If you notice here, Siemens uh, Seed 801. We will do a full backup of this ECU. And after that, I will make uh, EMA off. I already uh, opened this ECU. You need a T10. Okay. You have the screws over here. Uh, what I like it on these old issues and you don't find in these days, it is this protection. Look, this already have the corrosion here. Okay. But until now, none of this issue it was uh, with uh, corrosion and water damage. Because when you take this out, you have a double protection. You have it also here a screw and also to another side. Okay, it's also T10. And to read this issue, uh, if you notice already, I do have here key tag. And for reading the EE prom, we should unsolder the, the memory, okay? Because you will be able to read only the flash. You should pay attention when you open this one to destroy this part of the uh, PCB, okay? And you can notice we have the EE from over here. We should unsolder uh, this one. And from uh, flash, we will uh, use the external cables and we'll solder the boot wire over here, okay? It is very simple. Also, if you are a beginner or, I don't know, you don't have experience, you don't uh, need to know too much about the reading of this issue because I will show you the connection. It is very simple. Okay, and here we have the connection. You noticed here you have the one, two, three, four, five, six, the six, the pin number six. Okay, it's very simple. And you noticed the connection simple than that. It cannot be okay. Plus, minus, and here is the car line. As I mentioned, also if you don't have experience, also if you are a beginner, it is really easy to read this issue. I will sort of this cable over there, or I will try to find something better than a cable, and we'll go from there. To solder this boot pin, I'll take a resistor, because you can solder very easy these things over here. I'll cut it. And we will sort of this one, okay? And as I said, we have the pin number six. It is a little bit hard for me because uh, I have this camera in the front of me and it's uh, between my hands. And it will be a little bit harder for me to manage to do it, but I will try how best I can. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one it is. And this one will be the pin. You have a protection here. Okay. I will sort of this one on the top of the pin. It didn't must to be. Uh, directly on the leg on the board with the same connection okay I will show you better okay as I said it's not uh, necessary to solder this one on the board you can solder also here on the on pin and now according to the diagram we will Proceed to make the connection. We will look again on these things.
power supply is connected to 12.7 uh, before to go forward I want to mention uh, I do have this for almost one year don't buy this shit okay this uh, iron station I will show also in another video why you should not buy this shit because it's very expensive and I do have this one this is the second one okay who is only 8 euro but it's 10 times better than this one I ordered already a proper iron station not this shit because I don't tell you why I will make a separate video okay it's not related to it uh, automotive problem but also you need a soldering iron and you are asking me which tool I, I will use I will make a video and I will make also a uh, small comparing between this one with only 8 euro and this shit with 60 euro or something like that or 70 euro I don't know okay pay attention I do have it here maybe you don't believe but as I said I don't like it because it's not good this one is better than this shit okay and now we come to our job let's go forward try to read as I said we will extract only the flash because only flash is possible to have it for EEPROM we should uh, desolder uh, that EEPROM okay from the board but step by step we will identify the ECU okay and after that we will proceed to EEPROM You should uh, pay attention when you remove this one because as you noticed here capacitor and a resistor over here they are very small when nothing happens you blow this thing from there if you want solder this but you should solder this back okay I will put a little bit flux it doesn't matter which one you have it but is better I will start the soldering station okay I put it like that because the pin is the pad is uh, silicon and he will absorb the heat Uh, now I will show you which uh, uh, soldering station I use. Okay, this is from Company 80 or Aten, something like that. Uh, it's very good. There is not commercial, there is not paid. It's just uh, a very good station. Okay, and this one also. I'm quite happy. Uh, I do have another power supply for laptop repairs. It's a linear power supply. This one is only for bench power supply. Okay, but as I said, don't buy this shit. It's a garbage. I will show you which one you should buy. Okay, for same money. Uh, in the meantime, when this uh, EE Pro will be, or oh, it's already cold enough. We can put it on the programmer and we can read. This is, uh, if I don't make a mistake, it's a 93C56 memory, if I remember good. I read it the last one, maybe a few years ago. Okay. And after that, we will uh, modify a little bit on the damp. But we will read for this one, okay? And I have the e over here. I ended up soldering here. I use this adapter, but it doesn't work, it showed me everywhere's error, pin errors. I don't know if this is the problem or not, but we will see now. Okay. We will start the programmer again. Let's read it. Yes, and it was a bad connection. Okay, now we have the EEPROM. We will save this data also. And uh, after that, I will uh, make him off. It's simple. 
use the program and that's it, it's not a big deal, okay? And I save the data, the EEPROM data, and maybe you already noticed we have here the PIN code, the security code from the car, that you will read it from right to left, okay? EAPT, this one will be our security code. We will start a programmer now and I will show you how you can prove this. Like for example, make a choice. You'll select your issue. We will put the dump over here. Okay. Let's make a small comparing. You notice this. It is not hard to find your pin. If you want to know exactly where he is, this one. On this line it is, okay? And as I said, I will make uh, him off. For that I will use this program. You can go over here. You click on them, do it. And it's very simple, he will make a correction for you. Like do it, you will have the original one. Okay, you will already change the things in the EEPROM. I will save this one. And now let's, uh, let's compare these things, it's over here. Let's start the program. And we will take the original and we will take this one. And to make him off on this car, what he do this program, he will delete the security code. If you noticed, we have two times the security code. And also he will change the bytes over here. Uh, not so much to say. It's an old car. It's not necessary to buy original stuff and replace because this uh, repairing parts will be more expensive than the car. And the guy decide to make him off okay i hope this video it was uh, useful for you and like always thank you for watching bye bye